Okay, we have a tiny interesting series. We've got the series from one to infinity of one over two n plus one minus one over two n. And you may notice this is really similar to one I did previously. I think the only difference in the other one was we had a three here. And this is actually gonna be the easier example. This is quite a bit simpler with a two. We'll see towards the end of the video why this is easier, but I'm actually gonna do, I actually know three methods on this. I'm gonna do a harder method and an easier method on this. We'll do two out of the three methods. Maybe I'll come back and do the third method later. So to get started with it, I'll approach it the same way I did in the other video, and I wanna factor out, first I wanna factor out the two, but also I wanna flip the order of this so I can factor out minus one half in order to rearrange it. So then doing that, we'll switch the order of the terms. The first one's just gonna become one over n, and the second one then becomes one over n plus one half. And then for my second step, really optional step, it doesn't really matter, but what I like to do is Let's do an index change. If I add one here to the end, add one here, I just need to subtract one off here. So doing that, what happens to our lower limit here is just gonna become a zero. We'll write this one here as n plus one, and then this last one's gonna become n plus three halves. But now the way this is set up here, we can use our series expansion for the digamma function on this in order to rearrange this whole thing. Let's look at that. So with this series expansion over here to the right for the digamma function, all I wanna do is notice that what we have over here is really similar to what we have over here. This Z value in the formula, that's just gonna be this input right here. So we'll call this right here our Z. This right here is the Euler-Mascheroni constant, and this is gonna have a value something like 0 0.577. And then in order to rearrange this so we isolate this part, Let's just add this thing on both sides. I can add it over here so it cancels out on this side. And so by isolating this, now we can express our sum over here in this form right here. So doing that, I'll just bring down the minus one half. And then let's see, we're gonna have the euler mascheroni constant plus gamma of our input Z. So it's just gonna become, not gamma, digamma of three halves. And then from here, the question is, how can we reduce this or get this into a nicer form? Technically, we have an answer here, but I mean, having the constant is fine, but we kind of like to reduce this if we can. And I also need a, another set of parentheses right there. For a start, we can kind of use this recursive formula on this to reduce it. So if we have something like that gamma of z plus one, we can reduce it by one. So we get back that gamma z plus one over z. So using this for that gamma three halves, what's gonna happen is we can just subtract one from it, we get that gamma of one half, plus one over the Z value, and that's gonna be two. So let's plug this back in here, and we'll have, I guess I'll keep this minus one half up front for now, and then this is gonna become that gamma one half plus two. But now that really didn't accomplish much at all because I still need to reduce this or come up with something for this. What we can do is use the multiplication formula on this. Let's look at that, so it's gonna be that gamma NZ is gonna be one over N, we're gonna have this sum from k equals zero to n minus one, that gamma of z plus k over n plus ln n, and hopefully that fits on the board. So using this here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep the same z value, our z value, our z value here is gonna be one half, so we're gonna have this one half. To make this n value work nice, let's make our n value equal to two. The reason I do that, two times half is one, gamma of one, this is gonna be a well-known value. This is gonna be just minus euler mascheroni constant. So then let's take this and plug it in here into our kind of long equation. So for one over n, with n being two, we end up with one half. Here, n minus one, two minus one is just gonna be one. So we're just going from k equals zero to one here. Then we're gonna end up here with di gamma, our z value is one half plus k over n, which is two, and then we just have ln ln of n, which is gonna be ln of two. So then let's see what simplification we can get. Let's bring this thing down. We have one half. Now this is nice, because this is just gonna be two terms. The first one, when it's zero, we're just gonna have, let's see, this is just gonna become di gamma of one half. Then for k equal to one, half plus half is one. We get di gamma one, but we already know what that is. That's gonna be this same value right here, minus euler mascheroni constant. And then we'll just bring down this plus ln2 right here. And now it's just about cleaning it up. Let's get rid of the one half by multiplying everything by two. Multiply by two, that's gonna cancel here. And this is gonna become two ln2 or ln4. 
then just to clean this up, my goal in all this is I want to get a value for di gamma one half because we're just trying to fill in. I want to fill this in coming back here. So in order to do that, in order to isolate that, let's so we'll leave this on one side of the equation and bring everything else on the other side. Let's see how that's going to work. So when we do that on one side of the equation, we're just going to have di gamma one half. Then we're going to have minus here. I'll write it all out so we can just see. We're going to have minus 2 times the Euler Mascheroni constant. We bring this to the other side, it's going to become a plus, and then this is going to become a minus. But we can take these two and put these together. One copy of the constant minus 2 is just going to give me a minus 1 here. And now let's just take this value we found for di gamma 1 half, plug it back in here and see if we can finish this off. Okay, now that we have this plugged back in, first thing is Euler Mascheroni constant. These are going away. This piece is going to be just 0. I can distribute in the minus one half right here. So when I do that first, minus a half times minus two is just gonna be one. So we end up with natural log of two. Minus a half times two is just gonna be minus one, and that's it. Okay, so now we found our solution using one of the harder methods. Now let's see if we have an easier way to do this. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna reverse the sign on this. It makes it a little, I think it makes it a little easier to look at if we just pull a minus out and I write it as one over two n minus 1 over 2n plus 1. You don't really need to do this again, but I kind of like it. So then let's just start plugging in values starting at 1. We're going to have a minus in front of everything, so let's write it like this. You plug a 1 in, you have 1 half, and this is going to become minus 1 third. And then you do a 2, you're going to have 1 fourth, minus a fifth, do a 3, and just keep going like this. And you have to keep going, and you're going to have to keep going and do this and write it out forever. Well, now, if you just take this minus sign and distribute it in, you're going to change the sign on everything, right? So let's do that really quick. But the thing to notice now is what we have right here. This is almost the alternating harmonic series. It's just 1 over n with alternating signs. All I need to do to make this work is let's just add in a 1 right here. So I don't change it. I'm just going to subtract off a 1 in the end. For the alternating harmonic series, I've shown it in previous videos how to get this using series and differentiation and stuff, but this has a well-known value. This alternating harmonic series is gonna be just ln of two. And so just like that, recognizing this is ln two, and then just subtracting off one, we get the same solution, ln two minus one. Okay, so there you go, two different methods on that one. You get the easy way, you get the hard way. You can choose, you can do both. You can do the third way. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.